Elon Musk doesn't believe in the impossible. From being the first privately funded liquid propellant rocket to reach orbit, to being the first to launch three crewed missions to Earth orbit in less than 12 months, SpaceX has achieved seemingly impossible things. And now Elon Musk, being the revolutionary and optimistic thinker that he is, believes that NASA's moon landing goal of 2024 is not out of reach. We're going to aim for sooner than that, Musk said in a news conference after the successful launch of SpaceX's Crew-2 mission. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to Future File to watch more fascinating videos on futuristic tech. Humans have not departed Earth orbit since Apollo 17 returned from the moon in 1972. NASA has been attempting to reform this since 2004, when then-President George W. Bush revealed the vision for space exploration, an initiative to return people to the moon and eventually land on Mars. Since then, NASA's deep space activities have gone by several names. Constellation, from 2004 to 2010, aimed at the lunar surface and Mars. Journey to Mars, from 2015 to 2018, aimed at cislunar space, comet and Mars and Moon to Mars from 2018 to present, targeting lunar surface and Mars. NASA's new Artemis program envisions sending explorers to the lunar south pole by 2024 and potentially creating a permanent base on the Moon. The initiative is a product of the Trump administration's Space Policy Directive 1 and a speech by Vice President Mike Pence on March 26, 2019, directing NASA to reach the Moon by 2024, four years earlier than its previous target. The deadline has been considered overly ambitious by experts, and it is unclear if President Joe Biden will be able to stick to it. But Elon Musk, the billionaire founder and CEO of SpaceX, believes it is possible for the company Starship Deep Space Transportation System, which NASA recently selected as Artemis's crewed moon lander. SpaceX was founded in 2002 with the aim of revolutionizing space access and enabling a multi-planetary society. Today, SpaceX uses its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launch vehicles to carry out scheduled flights to space with a wide range of clients, including the National Aeronautics and Space Administration (NASA), the Department of Defense international governments, and leading commercial companies. And their ultimate goal? Launching a spacecraft that will send humans to Mars, Starship. However, the Starship may also be crucial in establishing a permanent base on the Moon. NASA recently awarded SpaceX a $2.9 billion contract for the Human Landing Systems program. The agency picked SpaceX over billionaire rival Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin and defense contractor Dynetics Inc. Under the contract, Musk's company will build a variant of the Starship rocket, which SpaceX has been testing in Boca Chica, Texas. The Starship will be the first commercial human lander that will safely carry the next two American astronauts to the lunar surface. One of those astronauts will go down in history as the first woman to set foot on the moon. The Artemis campaign also aims to land the first person of colour on the lunar surface. Kathy Luders, NASA's Associate Administrator for Human Explorations and Operations Mission Directorate, says, With this award, NASA and our partners will complete the first crewed demonstration mission to the surface of the moon in the 21st century, as the agency takes a step forward for women's equality and long-term deep space exploration. This critical step puts humanity on a path to sustainable lunar exploration and keeps our eyes on missions farther into the solar system, including Mars. Lately, we have seen a lot of partnerships between NASA and SpaceX. A press conference was conducted following the successful launch of SpaceX's Crew-2 mission, which is sending four astronauts to the International Space Station under a contract with NASA's commercial crew program. In the conference, Musk said, I think it will happen. I think 2024 seems likely. We're going to aim for sooner than that. After all, Musk believes Starship could be flying people routinely by 2023. SpaceX's Starship spacecraft will be the most powerful rocket in history, capable of transporting up to 100 people on long-duration interplanetary flights and delivering up to 100 tons of payload for building bases on Moon and Mars cities. Musk expects a series of launches between now and then, with the intention of reaching orbit this year. According to Musk, if current trends continue, if you plot the points on the curve of progress, then we should be doing regular orbital flights with a high probability of safe landing in two years. SpaceX is accelerating the development of the Starship at a breakneck rate, 
building on a long history of launch vehicle and engine development. Obviously, we need to, like, not be making craters, Musk said with a laugh. Got some work to do, but making rapid progress. We've got to make sure we're accelerating the rate of innovation, and then it could be ready in a couple of years. The crater's remark refers to the latest Starship test flight campaign, which has been quite explosive. Since December, the company has conducted several successful test flights of Starship, although landing attempts following the last four high-altitude flights resulted in fiery explosions. Those flights involved iterations of the 165-foot-tall, 50 meters Starship spacecraft, also known as Starship. The first two Starship prototypes, SN8 and SN9, were destroyed in spectacular explosions as they approached the launch pad at high speed. The follow-up SN10 made a soft landing at the Boca Chica facility on March the 3rd, but about six months later, it underwent a rapid unscheduled disassembly. Needless to say, it was an explosion of epic proportions. Starship SN11 also followed in the footsteps of its predecessors, the SN8, SN9 and SN10, after it met an explosive end. Although the Starship gets all of the attention, the booster is just as important. The booster is Starship's first stage, which propels it into orbit and then separates. The booster stage is designed to land safely and be reused. SpaceX has built a super heavy prototype, but has yet to fly it. Currently, SpaceX is preparing to attempt another high-altitude test flight of the Starship. The new version, named SN15, is already on the launch pad in South Texas, undergoing a series of pre-flight inspections. Hopes are high for the SN15 as it is a significant upgrade from its four predecessors. SpaceX plans to reach orbit with the rocket in an unmanned flight by 2022. The ultimate goal of the company is to land a human on the moon by 2024 and build a self-sustaining city on Mars by 2050. Seems a bit far-fetched, doesn't it? Originally, NASA had been working towards 2028 for returning astronauts to the moon, but in March 2019, the White House directed it to accelerate the plans due to cost and schedule overruns on critical pieces of technology, such as the giant space launch system rocket and the Orion crew capsule. In addition, NASA was set to receive far less than half of the funding it needed to begin developing a lunar lander. Thankfully, President Joe Biden's Democratic Party has announced that it would support NASA's work to return Americans to the moon and beyond to Mars, but has not committed to 2024. Musk himself has acknowledged that his target timelines are too ambitious and should be taken with a grain of salt. Musk says, I don't ever set intentionally impossible goals, but I've certainly always been optimistic on timeframes. Only time can tell if the deadline Musk has set is possible to meet. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this next video on why SpaceX bought an entire village. This is shown in the end screen. See you there.